okay? So, hello guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back from another episode of Mind Luigi Partners in Time. Last time, we had basically, um, we basically ended up down here, in this area, and in the Gritzy Caves. And, um, yeah, we basically explored a good chunk of it, and took us through most of it, and here we are, we're just kind of gonna go ahead and start, and this we're gonna go ahead and start doing the, another boss fight. PD Piranha boss fight. So, um, I already healed myself, I already am fully prepared, I have the items, let's go. I can't believe they actually did that just for a little tiny ass door. <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's anything here, is there any beans? I don't think so. Just in case, we're gonna check. Just in case, there is that, but that's, um... Just in case, though, I'm gonna check, because you never know if uh, there's just hiding one in plain sight. There's this! Mario! Oh my god! <gasps> oh no, the baby! Oh no! Oh no, baby Luigi! Baby Luigi, no, what the hell? Baby Lu also, by the way, here's an interesting fun fact if you guys didn't know this, but it's so funny is that the fact that the babies are also voiced by Charles Marionette. The babies. The babies, too, are also voiced by Charles Marionette. The baby Mario and Luigi are voiced by Charles Marionette, too. <laughs> so basically, <laughs> I don't know why, but it's so dumb. Oh, fuck. It's just so crazy how the fact that they're voiced by the same guy, even the babies are voiced by the same guy. An adult man doing a baby voice is just so dumb, but I love it. Oh, my God. I legitimately love how stupid that is. It's just like, oh yeah, John Marina's voicing the babies too. This vocal range is just amazing though. Damn. Just voicing the baby versus Mario Luigi. Could have been done by someone else, but no, instead they did this John Marina just did himself. I don't know, I just find it so dumb. But I love how stupid that is. I just love how dumb that is. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to say that fun fact if you guys didn't know that, because that is just so funny to me, and I don't know why. I just find it so funny the fact that they're all voiced by the same guy. The fact that they're all voiced by the same guy is genuinely hilarious to me. I, I love it. Okay, so trampolines is going to be your best friend for this fight. Trampolines are going to be your best fucking friend for this fight. Trampolines. Trampolines are your best friend. It's just like how, how Pocket Chomp's your best friend for, for the Shrew Boy Brat. Trampolines are your best friend for this one, so you're, they're gonna be your best friend. Pocket Chomp's no longer my best friend, but trampolines are now. So basically, trampolines are your best friend. Could be this way. Use them if you have them. If you have them, that is. Buy some, or you know, use the ones that you have. Use all the ones you can have, and you can get a whole bunch of damage out of it. And also, dizzying effect doesn't really work on bosses that much. It's pretty rare when it does, but it won't normal is resistant to that. You can actually use ice flowers as well, however, you have to have the babies to do it instead, like this. There we go. So, go down. And then when he goes down, this is gonna happen. So you see the letter on the top screen? That's gonna be where it's gonna aim first. It's gonna aim towards that bro first, and then, uh, yeah. And after that, it will just kind of go away, and uh, it just kind of detach itself after a while. And there we go. So since it has spikes, the only thing you can really do is use ice flowers, but bro flowers, green shells, and um, smash eggs. That's really all you can use when he's like this, because you know you can't jump on it because of the teeth. So use some um, green shell or anything like that. That won't that can help.
Let's do it again. Do you jump, 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 jump? So you don't get swallowed up. Because he's gonna do that and it's gonna be kind of annoying. Or L. Why is I was aiming for L? For Luigi. Stop aiming for Luigi. Come on, aim for Mario more. Come on. Okay, good. Um, let's go with. Uh, can't use those. Let's go with the uh, bro flowers. Let's try to use a burn inflict. I'm not sure it's gonna work, but let's try at least. Pretty good. Because the uh, fire flowers are just gonna be your best friend here. Oh my god, 200 damage? Holy crap. Holy crap, over 200 damage on that one. Oh, oh god. Alright. Um, what are you gonna do? Okay. Stop using this attack! I don't know why! Oh my god, this attack is just up. Ah, Luigi! Okay, Luigi, you're gonna need a healing round. Luigi, you're gonna need a healing right. Luigi, have a healing round. It's gonna be good for you. Okay, um... Uh, smash egg, I guess? Maybe we could try to do a dizzy? Let's see if that could work. Okay, now he's gonna fly up again. This is the first time Pity Prime was actually ever used as a boss, ever. So really this was actually the first time it was ever used as a boss. First time Pity Prime was ever used as a boss, it later became tradition to mind the Luigi series. And later it was reused in Paper Jam. So it's kind of funny how um, it kind of became a little mini thing as well. Okay, now we can use Trampolines, Cannonball, or Store Hearts Content. Let's go. Trampolini time, baby. Trampolini. Pocket Chomp, though, you can technically use, but it's not really worth it here. Because, well, you know, he's flying in the air in this part, so really it's just not worth it when he's doing this one. I read the ground's not worth it either because, well, you know. So Pocket Chomp's kind of useless, to be fairly honest, in this one. In comparison. Three turns there. Come on! I was so slow. I literally didn't have any turns. What the hell was this? I literally didn't even have a single turn. That is stupid. I literally didn't have a single turn. What the hell? Slow speed, defense, and attack! Damn, a, a, a triple! That's actually, that's great. Okay, that is really good. Three stats in a row, three stats at once. I've never had that before. It's great. Uh, yes! Okay, good. Alright, that's P Piranha. Done. Damn, I thought I was gonna be lost there for a minute. Alright, that's good. Haha, <laughs> there we go. A level up for everyone. That's great. 
HP? There we go, I guess. Def All right, baby. <gasps> HP, I guess. Just increase HP so we can have more time to, I guess. Everybody got an HP upgrade because they needed it. They kind of needed it, to be honest. They're kind of low for it for their levels. They kind of needed a little bit of it. Okay. Here you go. We got the Cobat Star Shard and. We got Kobas, the third one. Nice. Third Kobas Star Shard. Done. Here you go. Ow, wow, I walloped my noggin, but good. Hope my camera's not broken. Hey, it's my Whisker Boys. Did you KO that overgrown veggie? Good deal. When that clown swallowed me down, I thought it was a big sleep for sure. So give fellas, did the big lug have the shot? Why, it's the bee's knees. Gaze at those sparkles long enough and you feel... <gasps> Yo! Inside that crystal, someone was looking back at me, fellas! <laughs> I must be off my trolley. I need a quick snoozer. Anyway, what gives, Whiskers? Why are you gonna do when all you got all those babbles together? You're quite the multi crew, but make you for a gold copy. No doubt about that. Good as you boys are, though, this damn's got a lead that'll top anything you've ever done. Boom, my fuck! That's why I glued onto a little shoe property when the alien bro has grabbed me. Ain't that a thing of beauty? Think it's key of something inside the shoe, mother ship? Who knows that this beauty can do in the right keyholes, Mr. Yara. But you can bet your last motion might be scooping the top of the presses, boys. <laughs> what about Princess? Oh, you want to know if the salt Princess Peach in the piranha plant's belly? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Believe it, fellas. Princess Peach was in there. But when I got in, she got spit out a lickety split. I was all set for an exclusive interview, too, raspberries. I'm pretty sure she's still locked up in a cave somewhere. Suggest so you fellas keep your pep your pepper spiels for peepers. Peeper peepers. As for me, I'm gonna try to put the key to use. Which means it's time for me to say so long. Good luck, Whiskus. Oh, yeah. I owe you one. Okay. So we defeated, it took me 10 minutes, but uh, I guess here we are. <laughs> took me 10 minutes, but here we are. Okay. Mario? C uh, could it be? Is that you, Mario? Yes, baby B! Mario, help Mario! Whoa, what the? Oh my god, okay. Let's get in there. Holy fuck, what happens? No beans. I don't see any, so no beans. Let's go. <laughs> Luigi fainted too at the same time. Oh my god. Alright. So we got Peach back, I guess? Yeah, that's not Peach. Yeah, no, that ain't Peach. Alright, here we are back in the present. Okay, here we are. We're back. Alright. Oh, Clematity, how dare this fungus attach itself to our princess's beautiful visage? I dare say, I'm rather curious as to how the mushroom has asphyxiated itself as well. What a cruel jest this is. I got the chance to meet the adult princess and curses. I guess we'll just have to wait for it to rot and fall off the shroom. I mean, not her face. <laughs> God damn it. Are you well, my dear? Oh, now you've done it, you trumpeting old elephant. The young miss is weeping again. A princess here, a princess there. No rest for me, I fear. Hey, that important thing is that the princess is safe. I think the reason Baby Peach was crying was because she knew. She knew something is up. She knows something is wrong. Princess said, come princess, why don't you lie down for a while? Okay, well, I guess I can't go in. Princess Peach is resting, please come back later. I can't do my tone voice anymore because it sucks. It's literally the <coughs> In such a way that it is impossible. I don't know how, but it's gotten even worse over the years. Over the past 
two. Almost, almost past two years it's degraded. Nearly three years he has degraded. Somehow. It's like impossible, but here we are, I guess. Oh my god. I don't know. My toe boys are really degraded so badly. It's just, it, ah, it's so bad. I don't know what happened. God. Okay. Hold on, let me check. How many beanies do I have here today before we actually go to the toes? So I can check and maybe I can go back to Fawful. Oh, that's kind of weird to say. Alright, 38. Damn it. I need 90 for that ulti free badge. I need 90. So I'm gonna need 90. It's gonna take me a while, but I'm gonna need 90. I think the only way we can get it is from a certain mini game in, an, in the next area which we're gonna get into. Compose yourself, elder me. The princess is crazy attention. Let's just go with the classic. Ready when you are. Go! Toastworth the Younger, the princess! is. She's not... She's not pleased! Good gravy. She's tired of the Toastworth twist. Ah, Crosswind! Great Ugly Bugly! Look, Elder Me, she's intimidating our move! Maybe I can make the baby. Maybe I can make the baby spin. Hey, I thought we can make the, the children. Can we spin the children? How about that? <laughs> God damn. What's that you say, old B? What are you calling all again? <laughs> you must learn our move. I want to spin the babies. Come now, Master Luigi. You saved the princess. You've earned this. Sa what? Sabbatical. There's no longer any need for you to learn new moves at the moment. As you can see, trying to keep her little majesty happy is rather a full time endeavor. We can't spare any moment to teach you such. For a let us suffer in peace. <laughs> Hold your tongue, Elder Me. Indeed, the grown up princess is safe, but evil abides, sir. Quite frankly, but the same you being such a stick in the mud has turned my stomach. That's not the way to live. Certainly not how I wish to be in my autumn years. <sighs> Very well. You want to learn? Then I will teach Kirsten and princess on my salad days. <laughs> curses, curses. You're in my salad days. Alright, so we're gonna make the babies. Spin! Really couldn't be simpler. Merely just run into the babies during a spin jump. Basically, make the babies spin. And then they spin in the air! Babies caught up in a spin set whirling to their and huzzah, spinning babies! Yes, marvelous creative name, spend a naming session. Perhaps our time might be better in the naming session. <laughs> spinning babies! But I pay him no mind, he's a bit darn Barbie these days. Move a simple, try yourselves. <laughs> I love the Toadsworths. Oh my god. Oh my god. Once the babies are airborne, yeah, duh, yeah, yeah. In my case, the joy. In my stick, the joystick. Okay. So. And there we go. <laughs> Done. Brilliant, I'm quite sure you're now able to ascend the place formerly out of your reach. Even higher than before. Even higher. Oh my god, this one! This one, yes, yes, this, I love this one. You're gonna see I love this one. Oh dear, what are we to do? She's absolutely insensible. She's tired of this as well. Oh my god, I love this one. In that case... <gasps> are you mad, the princess? <laughs> yes, the princess! I forbid it! Oh my god, we're going in! No, never, never! <laughs> oh shit. No! 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 Princess! <laughs> oh my god, no, please. Oh dear, princess, what have we done? That, it looks like a cake. Like I said before in my stream, it looks like a fucking cake, you know, with the, you know, the crown looks like a cake, you know why? Because like, it looks like the little, like, you know, like the gummies that you put on the, uh, that's what it looks like. We have a princess peach cake, and someone please, like, do that, like, draw that, like, a the baby peach cake. It's like, <laughs> God, that'd be wonderful. What have we done? Look there, you cogger. The princess is pleased. Hmm. I have an idea. How about we roll over the babies? Uh, what the hell, Mari? What? Are they gonna make ourselves have, like, nothing but a flat head? <laughs> You're gonna make her have flat heads. What's that you say, old B? You wish to learn our move? Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna squish the children and by, uh, we're gonna squish ourselves by making ourselves basically concussions. I don't mind teaching you this move, but it appears my age counterpart is still in shock. <gasps> Princess! I suppose I could take it upon myself to teach you solo this time around. Oh my god. No! God damn it, Toadsworth! <laughs> I laughed harder back then, oh my god. It's quite simple, really. First, you enter Bros Ball mode. <laughs> I love the artwork! <laughs> the 
artwork. The artwork. No. No. Into the babies. Run them over. Like as far as the bros, but flying the tykes out in hockey. I was so alive to fix the space and previously erasable to you. Do not fret ever, they will pop right back up and out on the flexibility of childhood. <laughs> so they look like hotcakes, this Christian the Technique baby game. The artwork though, look at the artwork. <laughs> look at the artwork at the top of the screen. <laughs> oh my god, look at the artwork at the top of the screen. Oh my god, the artwork at the very top of the screen. <laughs> this is literal flattened. Oh my god. The fact that they're flattened. No. God damn it. <laughs> it's a baby. Fla baby. Baby, baby pancakes. I like to call them pancakes. Splendid. And the baby seems to have enjoyed it too. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> god is so dumb. Princess! Forgive me! I I am I'm an old fool. Blimey the wind! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Younger me, you scamp! This is all your fault! <laughs> what will you do now? I ask you, how will you make this right? Keep your trousers on, elder me! That's my blood pressure elevating! Really, if I wish to witness myself embarrassing myself, I'd block in front of a mirror! But the princess! Steady old bean, Master Mario and the others will undoubtedly save the princess as well. As always. You will save her, won't you? I assure you she's not in another castle or anything. We're counting on you fellows. And now, Elder Me will let Master Mario and the others handle this. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought the poor girl was gonna fucking shoot shock or something. We only just rescued the girl, the princess, and not the baby princess. <laughs> god damn it, I can't. The princess is sent sailing to the other side of the wall in that case, you forgot. And there it is, my opportunity to try out your techniques you just learned. Okay. Flatten them. Flatten the children. The children are going to be flat as pancake. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> I literally couldn't stop fucking laughing. Oh my god, that killed me. Oh my god, you have no clue. I guess anyway, here's something you can do. There we go. Do this. Go here. Oh my god. We actually reached those beasts we have now in the in the terrace area. We got the princess as an item. You say the baby princess she's an item now, just like just like Mary from from, from Link Link Link's Awakening. <laughs> Capital, very well done indeed. You have all her most heartful gratitude. Come now, baby princess. Let us repair the castle right now for all of us. Oh my god. <laughs> you have no idea how much I literally just wanted to. F oh my god. How much I literally just kind of died. Oh, there's beans here. Wow, okay. Hey, let me check this out. Okay, there are beans here. Ooh, item fan match. What the fuck is this? I've never seen this one before. Alright, what the fuck is this supposed to be? Okay, item fan badge. What is this? Increase attack item power, but decrease jump and hammer power. Hmm, that actually, looks, that actually sounds pretty good though, especially, especially if you like items. However, it will decrease item power. It's kind of a double edge. That one sounds good, but at the same time, kind of don't want to use it. I don't know. Oh my god, I legitimately just... <laughs> what the... Oh god, I lost it. <laughs> this is terrible! <laughs> He's back to back! Royal Chambers! I did not want to go to. Okay, let's check out what happened. Right, let's see ourselves real quick. Okay, let's go to the item shop real quick because I want to see what's on sale. I genuinely want to see what's on sale right now. 
so I want to see what's on sale, and uh, I just kind of want to. Let's go check. Alright, what about gear? Anything in gear? Alright, let's see. Clothing. Okay, so there's nothing really new in clothing yet. Nothing new there. Badges! There's new badges. Drain badge. That's one that we have. Counter badge. Increased damage done with counter attacks. Lucky badge. Make lucky hits easier to land. And cash back badge. Re receive half the price of items used in battle after battle. I guess so. That one. So stuff I really know in clothing is kind of useless in terms of clothing. Let's go to uh this <laughs> piece. Alright, let's go to items. Okay, we have a new one. Copy flower. This one is so broken. And I mean this genuinely. This one is the best freaking move in the entire game. And I think you're gonna see why. It can oh my god. You can keep it up for a long time and you can do so much damage. It literally makes boss fights a fucking breeze if you have this move. Like, not even kidding. This literally, literally makes boss fights very easy. Like, I'm actually serious when I say this. It makes boss fights way too easy. And I mean it. It makes boss fights so easy. It is actually ridiculous how, how boss fights are so easy in this. It's actually kind of ridiculous, though. But man, you're gonna see why. It's really, really useful. And I mean really useful. Oh my god, once we get it, let me just get into it. Alright, let's go. Let's check it. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, hey, look who's finally showed their ugly head. How could Bowser attack now? The gal! <laughs> oh boy, I haven't done this voice in a while. Let's go. This time the princess will be mine, you fools! Hey! Huh? Mario and that green wimp are here! What are the odds? Oh man, you've handed me the shell before, but not this time. Oh yeah, my horoscope said so today's the day I'll win. <laughs> my Pisces said today's time for recording. Hey, <laughs> rule! Hey, rule! I meant to say, God damn it! I haven't done this voice in a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a poison. It's got like a poison in it. So. Gotta go! Gotta go, I meant to say fuck. Because I haven't done the voice in a while, so it's kind of rusty. Halt! Oh my god. Return to Big Princess at once! Okay, Bowser finally shows up after basically being gone for like half of the game. He finally shows up, so Bowser is now here. Cause um, my weekly deal, Bowser got the princess again. It's like deja vu. Gee, I wonder why. We don't do something quick. Who knows what'll happen? Hurry, we must chase him. Fine. I really don't want to bite. Her do it, cause I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, let's go. So let's go. God damn it. All right. <sighs> to the next area, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose we gotta go to the next area of the game now. So we gotta go to the next area where we can, um, kinda go to do our thing. Then we can go back to the sewers and get the ulti free badge once we get over 90, uh, which I need, 90 beans. 40 beans! God damn it, I need more beans! It's killing me! I need more beans! I need the beans. I need the, the, the beanies. That's what I need. I need beanies right now. Okay, so go here. That's where we gotta go. Alright, so since we couldn't reach the room, I tried to reach here before, but the spin jump, well, it's not enough. So you actually have to do this with the babies. The babies hit all the ones you can reach there. Then just put them in a time hole. Wow, what a perf what a nearly perfect landing to time hole. And the babies are gonna go by themselves, but, we'll, but the adults will come back, so. Eh, it's not that bad. And there you go. Swamp Volcano, Mushroom Kingdom Pass. Here we are, all right. Back into Swamp Volcano. Oh my God, this shit is good. Oh my God. <laughs> oh 
I love this. I love music here. Okay. How about I go ahead and let you guys listen to this for because- Oh my god, I love this. Okay, hang on. <laughs> this is too good. For a minute. Okay, so now you know why. All right. Oh my god, that, that shit, that shit's genuinely good. Okay, one of my favorite songs in the entire game. Why can't I fly? Not extreme. Not extreme or anything. Gee, I wonder what. <laughs> or was it Professor Eureka or Doctor Zao Yowzer? <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god. Yowzer. Yowzer, bro. Okay. Alrighty, here we are, Flop Volcano. Oh boy, yo. This area is kind of long, so we're gonna might start a little bit, we might end it later, because this area does take a genuinely a long time to do, I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Wait! Oh, you know what? Let's beat. Okay, we have new enemies. <gasps> Luigi! I thought you were gonna. Oh my god, it was so close to me. So they have different expressions, just for colors going red and green, so keep that in mind. So, let me guys, let me show you guys the copy flower and how fucking good this attack is. Okay, here we go. Especially in boss fights, especially in the final boss. Definitely gonna be the best item, the best one. So basically, you see that it's different copies of, of basically every, of every single one, basically. And there we go. You can keep that up for basically infinity, and uh, yeah, you can just keep that basically for going for a basic infinity, and you can do it. It, it. it it breaks the game. It is so good. It literally breaks the game. It's a really good attack, and you should use it only in boss fights. I highly recommend only in boss fights. I just wanted, I just use it as an example, so I just show it as an example of it. So I wouldn't recommend using it in normal enemies. Only is it in boss fights, where where it has a lot of HP, especially in, especially in this version. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in this version of the game, so definitely use it, you know what I mean? <laughs> God damn it, okay. No! <coughs> Sometimes I lose my voice bit by bit. <coughs> God, I'm choking! I got a bit choking a little bit. Holy fuck. Holy. Ay, bendito. I am choking a little bit in the inside. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Holy shit, I'm choking. God. I am literally just- oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> you summoned! <laughs> singing this because it's so catchy. God damn it, F It's just so catchy. Don't blame me. 
I may not be the best singer, but don't blame me. I, I just, I can't help it. It's so catchy. There we go. <sighs> Wait, hold on. How far are we gonna get to leveling up? Because we're like level 15 right now. How far are we gonna level up into? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bellinis, coin, go here. Any bees? That's what I'm checking for. Bees. Because I want it. I just want to check for any bees. Do this part and then the next part we're gonna save for another episode because it takes a while. That's why. Ice flowers. He's got all the moves in the game already. Go here, get the bean. I'm not gonna use any more copy slides. I'm just gonna use the pocket chunks. Ah, eh, fuck, excuse me. I don't care anymore. Fuck you. Far we're gonna let me see how far we're in for experience points. All right, how far are we in ex XP? Okay, okay. So 421, 427, 486, and 486. So like 400 something something XP is what we need left until. Ah, my God. Why does Luigi glitch there for a little? Okay. Extreme danger over crevice on left is off limits to waffer fin trespassers. Using the propeller inside the float, also negatory. Stay out. Go away. Okay. Gee, I wonder why. All right. 
here? Anything? Ah, yeah. There's something. However, I can't reach it, so we'll have to have the, the babies to do that. Let's go here. I don't see any beans. Literally almost none. Alright. It's also a very short time list, so definitely hurry up with it. Go here. Made it up. Wonderful. Extreme danger! Don't hit blocks of hammers! Things fall often here without any help from you. Okay. Looks like we could literally just like do more falling and if we get some beans. Yep, knew it. A bean. I knew it. Alright. I really wanted to get that. Adults, here we go. And here we go. Let's go. Dun, 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 no beans. All right. So I think we might end it right around here for now. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, whatever. And next time, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on exploring more Flump Volcano, the mountain, the volcano, which is we're we're actually gonna get to the peak, or hopefully we can get to the peak. Um, it's gonna take a while, but yeah. So I'm gonna go try to explore more of this area, and uh, see you guys then.